Hello everybody, you're welcome to the Peace Security channel. Basically, I will be updating my security configuration because uh, in my last video I was using Komodo Internet Security, but that has changed because now I'm using Windows 8. So, as you guys know, there's really no need for a separate antivirus program in Windows 8 unless it's really good, and Komodo isn't. I mean, there's not a really big difference between Komodo um, antivirus and uh, Windows Defender so I have changed that so right now what I'm using is uh, I'm using Windows Defender as my basic antivirus so I keep it up to date I keep my operating system up to date I think everybody should do that and uh, apart from that I also use uh, Komodo Firewall and uh, I use this one a little bit differently so let's open it up you can see this is uh, very similar to the internet security package in fact it's uh, the interface is exactly the same it's just firewall and it doesn't have the antivirus but the cloud is still there though so it still can detect items through the cloud which is good so it kind of like adds to Windows Defender's detection rate without turning it off. Now what I do is I don't use the sandbox. I turn it off. Now the, by default this is the way it comes. But I like to turn it up and instead what I do is uh, I turn the behavior blocker off and I enable the intrusion prevention system and I turn it to clean PC mode so it knows that my PC is clean and of course it is so uh, I mean this is uh, not what I recommend for you guys to do because this can give you more alerts when you're running things from that that are not from your PC and also security wise if you're not a sensible person you might mess up with this because it's going to ask you for everything the reason I do this is because uh, what this thing does is basically anything that's unknown it's going to run it inside the sandbox and I do run a lot of software that is unknown to Komodo so what happens is it pops up and it goes into the sandbox and sometimes the software just doesn't work so I have to close the software come back here add it in exclusions and then run it all over again and sometimes that can lead to registry key errors and maybe the program not working altogether. So that's a problem that I have, and uh, the, that's why I use this. It's because this is better because I think it gives me more control as a user and lets me know exactly what the application is trying to do. So again, this is for advanced users. I do not recommend people who don't know what they're doing to do this. If you don't know, just leave it this way. So there's one more thing that I do run that is uh, malware bytes, anti-malware. Now this is payware but you just have to pay once and you have it for your lifetime. So it's not that bad a deal. I mean it's not great at preventing threats because uh, a lot of the things that it misses it catches by itself but only when you scan so it's real-time protection module still needs a lot of improvement but it's not the same as an antivirus so you can't complain because this is an only like a 10 meg security program any antivirus has databases of at least 50 megabytes so yeah I mean for what it is it does quite well and it does add to the detection rate so it does me a good job apart from that I do have something that you guys cannot see I do have two things more in fact one is panda security toolbar you can download and install it it's panda URL filtering and apart from that I also run Bitdefender's uh, traffic light as an extension I don't install it just run it as an extension for Chrome so I use Chrome. Chrome is really good at catching fishes and stuff like that. 
So that's quite good. So let's just give it a test run here. I've got about 10 links. I don't know what these are. I haven't really bothered to search them up or something. So some of them might be dead. First one's caught by Panda URL filtering. And I'm pretty much suspecting that everything's going to be caught. Okay, that's number two. Let's try this one. This is, I think, a fake AV or something. And um, you can't actually see it because it's outside the recording screen, but this one got blocked by Malwarebytes. And I got the notification on top. You can't see it because it's just over the portion that I'm recording. This one got cut as well. This time it's Panda. It's Panda again. I don't really know how old these links are. It might be a day old or something. This one's blocked by malware bytes as well. This one's cut by Chrome. Malware bytes. And this guy is not working anymore. So you can see pretty much the web filtering is doing a really good job. And apart from that, I do have quite a lot of offline protection. There is a smart screen filter which uh, a lot of people have misconceptions about. It's not just a part of Internet Explorer. Yeah, it scans your downloads, but even if you're not using Internet Explorer, like I don't use Internet Explorer, I use Chrome. But when you try to run a file that you've downloaded from the Internet, it still works, and it still blocks unknown files and stuff like that. So it's not totally useless if you don't use Internet Explorer. So that was just a quick update. I'm trying to get more reviews done. Um, I think I have to test a fast. A lot of people are probably waiting for me to do that. But at the moment, I just don't have enough time to do a full review, and I don't want it to be compromised. I want to give out a quality review whenever I can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little update. hope it was useful. If you guys want to use this configuration, you can use it. Only one thing that you should know is uh, how to deal with this thing. Now don't just blindly go and do what I said, just turn this on and turn that off and then don't come up complaining that why this happened and why that happened. If you don't know what you're doing, if you're a regular user, just turn this on and forget it. That yeah, if you're advanced, it never really hurts to use this, this uh, intrusion prevention system. And uh, what it does is basically it gives you more alerts but more control at the same time. If you hit safe mode, it's going to be a little bit too many alerts for me. So I just leave it at clean PC mode. And I don't need to, because I know this is a clean PC. So if you don't know, scan your computer with about Malwarebytes, Hitman Pro, maybe a couple of other engines, and then turn this on. Don't turn this on if you don't know that your computer is clean. So that's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a nice day, and stay tuned for more latent latest and greatest antivirus reviews.